Okay, winter squash. Let's talk a little bit about some of the criteria for harvesting. When is it ready? Uh, one is the vines should be senescing, dying back. If you look along here, you can see that's the case. Um, and that's one of the considerations. Another very import important one is that the stems should be brown and corky, not green and lively, as you see here with this beautiful old heirloom called mashed potatoes. And yep, the texture and the taste is not unlike mashed potatoes. It's really good. And this cute little uh, kabocha type, Sunshine, and isn't that all about sunshine? And if you took it out of the pantry in February to cook it up, wouldn't it give you a boost to sunshine and energy from the summer? Yeah, it would. Um, but you can see the stems are brown and corky. Uh, another factor is, can you scratch the stem with your thumbnail? And if you can, and you see lively flesh, it's not quite ripe. Uh, another factor is what's called a ground spot. Now on this fence, not all these squash sit on the ground. They are hanging. We'll get to this beautiful Sibley in a minute. Uh, but where a squash sits on the ground, it often dis uh, develops some discoloration. This is called a ground spot. It is a spot where the fruit sits on the ground, and it's usually a discoloration. It could be white, yellow, orange, as you see here, kind of uh, yellowish orange like that. Um, so uh, it, it's nothing hard and fast, but you want to meet as many of those criteria as you can. And another thing to consider is to cut the fruit off the vine to take a stem, uh, whether it's an apple, a tomato, uh, or in this case, a winter squash. The stem is a buffer between the item and the environment and rot organisms getting into the fruit and or desiccating and drying. So you take a stem. With pumpkins, pumpkin varieties are known by their stem or handle. Hey, that has a good handle. And there's all kinds of marvelous different uh, expressions of pumpkin stems. And you find that customers prefer one type of stem over the other or one handle over the other. But leave a good stem like this and cut, don't pull them off the vine. Uh, so the aforementioned factors, criteria, are things that lead to, one indicates the fruit is r mature and they lead to good storage life. All different winter squash has all different storage uh, life. Some as long as eight to 10 months, some as little as two to three months. Uh, and meeting the criteria for harvest will help you to get the optimum storage of your variety. Let's look over here at this fence here, rigid horse corral fencing and the fruit upon it. Uh, one, uh, a lot of home gardeners will eschew the winter squash. Oh my goodness, it's gonna run me out of house and home. And A, there are short, intermediate, and long vari uh, uh, vine varieties, and you could just pick more compact or short vine ones, or you could grow the long vine ones and train them up. Uh, this is very easy. You just go vertical, and they don't take more than a couple feet left and right horizontally. This is one of my favorite varieties of uh, winter squash. It's a variety called Sibley, S-I-B-L-E-Y, offered, I think, almost exclusively by Seed Savers Exchange, a marvelous heirloom preservation group for both seeds and livestock in eastern Iowa. And this variety, rightfully so, wins the taste test awards amongst their knowledgeable staff every year. It is uh, dry, sweet, and a little bit nutty, and a pretty good size uh, fruit, ranging from four or five pounds up to eight to 10 pounds like that. And isn't that a marvelous sight, seeing a big winter squash like that hanging off a fence? You can do this at home. Uh, the stem should be brown and corky, not green and lively. Should be able to not really scratch the surface much with your thumbnail. Often we'll have what's called a ground spot. You see this, this beautiful discoloration where the fruit rested on the ground. Uh, so uh, those are some of the 
things that indicate it's time to take the fruit off the vine and cure it. Uh, but one important thing is to make sure that you cut the fruit off the vine and leave a good sizable stem. The stem again being a buffer between the item and the environment and rot and desiccation. If you look at this delicata squash down here on the ground, we purposely broke the stem off and it's weeping as it were or bleeding. There's a little moisture there. That's the beginning of the process of rot.